Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater, episode number 25. Uh, okay, so in the previous episode a lot of things happened. The demon god kind of went like got unsealed and they had like quite a big fight with uh, Shinigami principal and the demon god or Kishin and uh, the Kishin, Kishin kind of like bailed out because obviously I think like he was not fully awakened like he like he needed some time to awaken his full power and also at the same time uh, Shinigami principal was also like kind of holding back so like uh, I kind of like missed one thing in the previous episode uh, there's something that he said uh, Kishin Kishin said like uh, you will not uh, like uh, see me again or something like that or like I no, uh, he did not see uh, he said that uh, I doubt we will meet again something like this uh, like I missed it so I was thinking like uh, like why does he like th why did he say this thing because obviously like uh, like he got unsealed so I'm hoping like they'll probably like uh, after unlocking his full power he'll come back and try to uh, like I don't know the destroy them or something like that's how it usually goes so why did he like say stuff like uh, i doubt you will like uh, see me again uh, something like that so i'm quite i was like a bit confused about that but we'll probably see what's going to happen later on and uh, also like uh, for strengthening up the defenses um the uh, shingami principle called uh, all uh, all all the other death sites and their masters so i think like this episode we get to see a lot of new people so I'm quite looking forward to that and it's almost like it's 25 and uh, this is now episode number 25 and I think like uh, this anime has 51 episodes so we're like almost at the middle of the anime series so yeah guys so let's see what happens so without further ado let's get started with episode number 25 of Soul Eater okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Oh boy, it's hot. Oof. Oh, Shinigami principal earphones. Uh, one of the new characters, I'm guessing. So he's like a priest. Okay. God damn, it's hot over here. Oof. Okay. Oh, we have not seen Excalibur for quite some time. I'm like, I'm thinking like where, like, like how will he like fit in this, like this type of plot? Like he's more like, uh, what can I say? Kind of like, a, uh, like I think he is quite powerful obviously because he's Excalibur, like that Excalibur, the one that King Arthur used. So I'm guessing like he is extremely powerful, but he like acts like a like a gag character. So I'm thinking like, like how will he fit in all of this? Like I'm I'm guessing like he uh, probably will uh, like act as kind of like a like he will play a big role in later episodes because he's quite important because he's a scalaver. So. Okay, what are these? Hmm. Oh yeah, what happened to him? Damn, new hairstyle. Hmm. 
Okay, all right. What are with all of these like wardrobe change? Like each and every one are wearing new clothes and new hairstyles. Yeah, Ragnarok. Oh, okay. That's good, I guess. Purifying effect. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> Okay, good choice. <laughs> Personnel charges? What? <laughs> what the? Okay. Oh, black star is here. Damn, wardrobe changes, as I said. Like, everyone is wearing new clothes. That's kind of nice. Justin. Okay. Each station. Oh, mm, yeah. Gauk. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> well, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so. These are those that sites. What the? Azusa. <laughs> oh, my God. It's great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? The? Oh no. Oh, so she's extremely strong. Okay. What the? What's she looking at? <laughs> Oh my god, what? Except anything? <laughs> yeah, it will definitely accept everything. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh no, the toilet is in danger. <laughs> Poor toilet. <laughs> Mule. Oh my god, you obliterated it completely. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm I'm thinking like what will happen if that girl meets with this 
Like, <laughs> Maka's dead. Not going. <coughs> yeah. What? Why? Ah, I don't think that's that was the like. What? <laughs> we never saw Maka's mom. Like... Oh no! Oh. What type of Queen of Student Council? Yeah, she looks like that. <laughs> mm. Oh no. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um you have something in your ear, that's <laughs> why. a coward okay <clears throat> God's weapon Well, yeah, we saw that before. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, okay. In this way, sudden outbreak. Because even people, do okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh no, he's getting transferred. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay, so <laughs> the Shinigami. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, like, oh no. How will you see Maka then? Okay. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> what? Oh, so that's a problem. You naturally work out without even realizing it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, what will he do? Oh no, Justin Kuni is listening to the gods. <laughs> Wait, so, like, he's free? What is he going to do? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, so they're going to play basketball. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, one of them is not here. This is not here. Yeah. But oh. Captain. Only the captain? Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> no one will going to like want to be the captain now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's a captain cap. Okay. Wait. W what type of basketball is this? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I also don't know the um, rules, so yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Oh no. No. <laughs> this. Okay, yeah. He said some. Well, it's time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that was the reason why, like, he paired them up. Wait, so his name is Spirits? Like, his real name? Okay, who won? Oh no. <laughs> Kid is like, thank god. My symmetry is okay. No oh boy, that is something. <laughs> And the penalty. Penalty. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Um <laughs> well, yeah, I also don't like Yeah, I, I kind of saw this coming. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that was a nice episode. Like it had a, like a little bit of comedy, a little bit of seriousness. Everything was like in uh, like appropriate proportions. So that was quite like refreshing. <clears throat> like we were having a lot of episodes back to back, like uh, with like what can I say, heightened tensions and like a lot of like excitement and all, and uh, back to back uh, <clears throat> fight scenes and all. So like like it is nice a little break and i'm guessing like we'll get uh, these type of episodes uh, for quite a bit unless and until the uh, Ki kishin comes uh, like attacking them so yeah <coughs> oh another thing i like uh, noticed today was so uh, maka's dad's name is spirit like uh I heard like them calling him Spirit Kun, Spirit Kun, but I thought like, uh, like uh, I don't know, like I thought there was something like they called their weapons, but now that I'm thinking about it, like, like, like why would they only call him Spirit Kun? So like his name is Spirit. Okay. So all right. So 
like he's a death site and his name is spirit all right so that was episode number 25 okay yeah a soul eater <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> now let's talk about this episode uh, first of all uh, we get to see a few new people uh, the um, I think the Meisters they're the Meisters or the death sites uh, uh, oh no I, I think I think that the death sites or like the monsters okay that was a bit like I did not understand let me just see like I think they're the death sites aren't they yeah the eight death sites so okay so one thing like I'm thinking about this like uh, so like who were their like monsters like like someone has to wield them like they can't like use themselves so like for example uh, just like take um uh like takes uh, maka's dad so like uh i think the shinigami uses him uh because he's like uh the like main uh death site or like one of the most powerful death sites so like the shinigami principal uses him and he like he sometimes like uh like uh, lends him to uh, uh stein and stein also like uses him also so and also previously like stein was the kind of like the master of uh, uh maka's dad so like someone wielded them so i'm guessing like uh, these death sites also have some kind of like masters who wield them uh and uh, and they did not come i'm guessing so yeah that is kind of like a question like even if like they're here like if they're like weapons how are they going to fight so Okay, we'll probably like get an explanation later on or like they'll <coughs> I don't know. We'll probably get an explanation later on. Okay, so yeah, as we, as I was saying, like we got to see uh four of the new uh characters, um the death sites and four or three. Um Justin, uh the two ladies. Oh, no. Three of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay three of them not four of them okay uh, so yeah we got to see like three of them and the others <coughs> like had some work and all so did not come and uh, yeah so as i was saying like this was a good like what can i say combination of comedy and uh, a little bit of seriousness as well and <laughs> um uh, what was her name Mar marty i think wasn't it yeah like <laughs> she was pretty hilarious like <laughs> <laughs> like uh, making a toilet <laughs> or marriage partner that was kind of funny and <clears throat> otherwise um after that uh we get to see them talking with the uh, shinigami principal and uh, <clears throat> like as stein said that he has a little bit of uh madness inside of him that was kind of uh that came out during uh, the fight with uh, Shin um, kishin and like we saw him like cutting off medusa and i'm guessing like that was some kind of an effect from that madness and like heightened madness because obviously stein is kind of like uh, what can i say um kind of not normal in that department because he like he is a bit kind of like we also kind of saw a little bit of his past where he like was like brutally beating up uh someone who crossed him and uh, uh, Maka's dad had to kind of like come and stop him so he is uh, kind of like that and usually like I think he keeps it uh, hidden and like keeps it under control but obviously like uh, the Kishin's uh, through the Kishin's <coughs> influence and the like his wavelength of the soul that kind of like heightens the uh, insane insanity or factor and Stein is the most affected by it and so that is also the reason why i'm guessing uh, shinigami principal uh, assigned <coughs> mari to him and i don't know like uh, most probably there's something uh, like within her like uh, in her like soul wavelength that kind of cancels out that insanity i'm guessing we did not get a proper explanation to that but i'm guessing it's it is like in some kind of that and <coughs> so like by like uh, being together with Stein, uh, the it will kind of neutralize the insanity factor and <coughs> help Stein to hold it uh, in. And uh, yeah, 
and then we got like a get a little bit of uh, like uh, a funny portion of like uh, <coughs> them playing basketball and <laughs> and uh, them having fun obviously like they need a break we all need a break like a uh, few of, like in the past few episodes we had a lot of <laughs> like uh, things back to back and uh, Krona is coming I'm guessing like Krona is getting um, <coughs> admitted to Shibusen and we'll probably see like uh, the dynamic of like Krona and uh, Ragnarok like that is the thing that I'm really um, like I, I really want to see what is going to happen to them like their relationship obviously because uh, previously they were under the influence of Medusa and even though I'm guessing like uh, Ragnarok is kind of a bully but I don't know like I'm guessing like they still like care for each other in their own way and uh, <clears throat> we'll probably get to see what happens and another thing is like uh, obviously like if you like are uh, at, like you are a part of Shibusen and they will like train you to be a good master so and with their weapon partner so everyone has like a weapon partner and i'm guessing like uh, ragnarok will be uh krona's weapon partner because that is the uh, like like only th uh, like that is the only what can i say proper thing that like should happen because obviously like they are <coughs> excuse me that together yeah that probably that is going to happen like uh like ragnarok is a uh weapon so and even though like uh, they are kind of fused together <coughs> i'm guessing like they are going to train them and <coughs> help them to like forge a bond and like uh for the future fights and future uh, enemies they face yeah and uh, <coughs> yeah like uh and uh, like uh, we got a few like a little bit of background on uh, not a little, we got a few, uh, like minuscule amount of uh, background background <coughs> on the other <coughs> dead sites and <coughs> excuse me um yeah and uh, i'm guessing we are going to like see them more in the coming few episodes uh, <coughs> at least we're going to see a, lo a lot more of mari because she is uh, assigned to like uh, shibusen and I'm, I don't know, like, I, I think Azusa w was probably, like, going to go and, like, look for uh, Kishin. And Justin has free time. <laughs> so, I'm guessing, like, uh, probably they will uh, will get to see them, but they'll probably be, like, busy in their own job. And, uh, like, Mari will be getting uh, more screen time because she, she is, like, uh, going to teach uh, them uh, in, the, in the school. And, like, going to... <coughs> be uh, recruit they're going to recruit her as a teacher uh, in shibusen so yeah we'll probably get to see her a lot more than the others and uh, yeah yeah that was basically this episode like there was nothing much uh, in this episode but it was a lot of fun like i had a lot of fun <laughs> like there were a lot of uh, funny bits and i kind of like enjoyed that like uh like let's let me just like uh talk about like point out the fun bits. and number one was like <laughs> the toilet bit that was hilarious and <laughs> then um uh, marka's uh, dad kind of like uh overthinking of what's going to happen to him and like whether he's going to get transferred or not and cleaning the candle <laughs> candles and all candle stand i think they're called and uh, <coughs> then um yeah then them like playing basketball and all and <laughs> mark not knowing the uh, proper rules i also don't know the proper rules so i was also a bit confused like why were they like passing it towards each other i'm guessing that is something like they do in basketball like i, I was I, like the only thing i know about basketball is that uh like they like uh, dribble the ball uh, uh, is that called like is it called dribbling like the way you like bounce it in the uh, floor uh, like that's the only like that that you you do that and uh, like you try to score a point towards the other like goal basically that's it so I, like when they were like passing it towards each other i was thinking like what are they doing like aren't they playing basketball and like if you play basketball you should like 
bounce it on the ground don't you so like why are they like passing it to each other <laughs> like uh, marcus expression was similar to my expression like i was also confused i was thinking like what are they doing like, this is basketball isn't it so like why are they passing it to each other so <laughs> then i kind of realized like what the like how the hell am i talking about this like i myself don't know anything about basketball so <laughs> like uh, yeah <laughs> and they were like uh, saying some kind of like technical stuff as well like about the basketball and all <laughs> and mark is like uh, like what's happening like what are the rules what are, am i supposed to do <laughs> and i was also the same like that <laughs> and uh, yeah yeah like this episode was uh, really like um, what can i say <clears throat> a good break uh, after all of the things that happened and um, and like uh, the punishment game was also kind of funny like they were like trying to mess up <laughs> kids symmetrical um uh, house and uh, uh, for maka it was like uh, go like hang out with your dad <laughs> oh another thing i'm quite like uh, curious about is maka's mom like i'm really curious i, I don't know whether we'll like, get to see her in the anime or not but I'm guessing like uh, uh, like uh, Marcus Dad said that she had her custody, so like I'm thinking like if like she, like Marcus mom has her custody, so like why is she like oh no uh, yeah I was thinking like why is she like uh, living alone with Soul so no I, I think like uh, she's living alone with Soul because like. Uh, like i think that is that like the dormitory like the school dormitory like because she is like a part of shibusen she is supposed to be like uh like uh, like uh, remain in the school premises something like that i don't know like there must be something and uh, <clears throat> also like uh yeah i really want to like i don't know like uh, there are like in, in some animals there are some characters if you guys uh, like uh, know that uh, some, there are some characters that you always talk about but you never get to see like uh, like uh, this type of like mysterious character like uh, like you talk about them all him all the time but you never get to see that character and uh, uh, like uh, some character like in some animes it like uh, the anime ends but still you never get to see him or her but in, like uh, but in some animes like they later on they introduce that character so i'm like thinking like whether this anime will also like go towards that route or whether like they'll probably going to introduce Marka's mom later on in the series or even if it not is she's not in the anime she's in the manga later on i don't know uh so yeah i'm, I'm like waiting like uh, even if like uh, after the anime ends and if we like don't get to see Marka's mom i'll probably like <laughs> google her and see if she is in the manga or not because i'm really curious like what the actual like what the hell happened that like i like even though maka z is kind of uh, what do you call it? um kind of like uh, is fooling around and all like i doubt like uh, he did something to make like uh, for the divorce because like she, she he like he is pretty sincere uh, at least like towards maka and everyone so like uh, a guy who like loves his daughter so much like i'm i'm really conf like uh, confused and because like why would he like do something that would like uh, make them split like uh, marka's dad and her, their mom so like i'm really curious about the question so like even if after the anime ends we get no nothing about that i'll probably like google it and like search uh, like what like what is the actual matter with them and if like the manga delved into that portion or they kept it as a mystery so i'm going to like probably check that out later on oh okay, anyways like i got uh sidetracked so yeah that was this episode so yeah that was a really good episode and a nice little break and a refreshing uh, episode i enjoyed that a lot so yeah guys that was episode number 25 of soul eater we're halfway through to soul eater and uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything about uh, the episode itself or anything about the anime itself i'll be sure to check them out <coughs> and uh, <coughs> yeah thank you guys for watching i'll be back with a new soul eater episode after one day so until then goodbye and have a nice day